I am here because of my father-in-law. His name is Ramprasad Bhakli, a very active man. He works as a businessman. So five years back, he had a pain in his upper neck. He was diagnosed as a case of paraganglionoma. We came to know about Dr. Sampath uh, because we've been searching for a skull based surgeon. And uh, we found out about him from our relatives. So they referred to him and then we came here. Mr. Ram Prasad Wagle, who came to me with the diagnosis of a massive tumor in the skull base, in the neck, in the infratemporal fossa, in the petrous parts of the skull base, also going intracranial into the cerebellar pontine angle. It was a very big tumor because it had been there for several years and we were worried because it was in a very risky place in his upper, uh, uh, upper neck near the brain stem. So, uh, and it was giving much trouble because it, it, there were pain and he also had some uh, neuro, neuropathic pain in his arm as well. And we were worried. So this patient came to me about uh, a fortnight back. Uh, the procedure was explained. The pathology was uh, described in detail. Uh, the patient agreed uh, to take up uh, surgery at Manipal Hospital. Uh, and we did this surgery a uh, week back. The patient underwent a complex skull base procedure called an infratemporal fossa approach, uh, which involved opening up the neck, the temporal parts of the skull base, and also the intracranial parts of the skull base. So the facial nerve had to be rerouted anteriorly before the tumor was to be attacked. And we, in fact, planned a two stage surgery for the same patient. The first one was completed this time, and we're planning for a second stage surgery after about uh, six months. So in this stage, the surgery involved removing the, the whole tumor from the neck, the upper and uh, the mid cervical regions, the infratemporal fossa, the temporal uh, bone, and uh, the petroclival areas. Uh, the intracranial part of the tumor was left behind for the second stage. Uh, this patient underwent 16 hour procedure and the entire skull base was exposed. Uh, the tumor was removed upon expected limes. It was a difficult surgery which uh, involved removing the tumor uh, which was very close to several cranial nerves and uh, not to mention the carotid artery and the vertebral artery. The patient was in ICU for a couple of days but recovered very well and is now fit for discharge. I consider this to be a landmark case in skull base surgery because it was a tumor that went all over the place in the skull base. Uh, we've done several cases in Manipal. Our goal is to establish a department of skull base surgery which involves a comprehensive multidisciplinary team dealing with skull base tumors. He is responding quite well. It's been uh, nine days of surgery. He's walking well, he's recovering well. We are being treated very well here and Dr. Sampat uh, kick, uh, takes care of my father-in-law very well. The Bangalore is a nice place. Uh, people treat, treat us very nicely. And uh, in Manipal as well, uh, the nurses are good. And even the caretaker, we call them Anna, they are also very uh, good, helpful. And they take care of my father-in-law very good. I'm hopeful that he'll be back to normal, uh, back to his old days after second surgery. The journey so far uh, with the Manipal has been very satisfactory. We're happy from it. Oh, no.